In this tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, the basic rules of uh, logarithmic functions. So let's say we have a log base b of b. If you have a log base of itself, then it's always 1. Okay? What if we have log base b of 1? Regardless of any base, as long as it's log, any base of 1 is 0. Then another one which you have to know is if we have log base b of bx, so the property of log allows us to drop the power to be in front. So this power can be in front. So this is the same as x log base b of b. And we know that log b base, uh, b is going to give us 1. So 1 times x in this case is going to be x. Okay? Now, what if we have log base, uh, we have any base, we can have any base as long as we have a negative. Log of negative is undefined. That is undefined. Okay. Now, let's say we have log base 2 of 2. This is going to give us 1. Okay, so log of um, the, bet, uh, the base itself, that is going to be 1. What if we have log uh, base negative 2? Maybe base 3 of negative 2. This is going to give us undefined. Now, log of any base, let's say log of base 5 or let's say log of base 4 of 1, that is 0. Okay? Now, let's talk about um, another principle. Let's say we have log base a of x plus log base a of y. Now, we can condense this using the basic rules of logarithmic. As long as you have plus, the bases are the same. What we normally do is you just do you multiply these two. Okay? So I'm going to say this is the same as if I'm trying to condense this, it's going to be log base a, then x times y. As simple as that. Okay? So what if we have minus log, let's say base a of x minus log base a of y. So this is the same as log, you write what log base is, and then if you have minus, you are going to divide. If there is plus, you are going to multiply them. So in this case, the one having positive is going to be on top. The one having negative is going to be uh, bottom there. So the one having negative has to be down. The one having positive have, uh, has to be on top. Okay? Now, what if we have... Um, Maybe we are trying to expand. We have log base b of xk. We do know that the property of log allows us to bring the power to come here. Okay, so this is going to be k log b log base b of x. Or we have um, yes log b of x. So that is also another property which we have to know. Okay, so now let's see how we can condense a few questions here. Let's say we have a log a base 2 of 3x plus log base 2 of 7y. We are trying to condense this so we can see that in you like what you have here okay so you have log now you only do this if the bases are the same if the bases are different what you have to do you have to change the bases okay so now in this case we're going to say is log base 2 
Now let's check. This is positive. Then we have to multiply these two. Okay, so in this case, we're going to have 3x times 7y. If you want, you can put them in brackets. Okay? You can put them in brackets. That's all. Now, any log, let's say log of 3, if you have not been given any base here, just know that it is log base 10. Okay? Now, let's say we want to find... We want to find log x plus log 7y. Since we don't have any base here, just know that it is in base 10. So I can condense this and say log. Okay. So since it is positive, I have to multiply them. As simple as that. Okay. Let's see if we can solve this. 3 log base 2 of x minus 1 over 3 log base 2 of y plus 4 log base 2 of z. How can we condense this? Now, remember, we can only condense if we have the same things. If we have the same base, so let's check. The base is the same. That is just okay. But we have the number in front here. Now, the proper of log allows us to shift this to be the power. Okay? So this can come here. This can also come here. What I mean there is uh, I'm going to say log base 2 of x to the power 3 minus log base 2 of y to the power 1 over 3 plus log base 2 of z to the power 4. Now we can see that we have the common things here. Now, the positive ones, they are going to multiply. The one having negative is going to be on the uh, denominator. So there we go. This is going to be log base 2. Let's see. These two guys, they are having positive, so I'm going to multiply them. I'm going to have x to the power 3 z to the power 4 everything divided by the one having negative is only this one so i'm going to say y to the power 1 over 3 so in this case this is my answer okay let's see if we have a natural log of um, x to the power 2 minus y to the power 2 minus natural log of x minus y how can we condense this? So natural log and logarithmic, they are the same. So we are going to follow the same principle. So in this case, it is in base E. Okay? So natural log is always in base E. So what we are trying to do now is um, we have minus here, meaning that we are going to divide. So we are going to have lean over x squared minus y squared everything divided by x minus y remember these two things here is a different of two squares okay if i have a minus b squared this is the same as this is the same as a minus b and a plus b okay what i mean here is um, it's going to be a minus b and then a plus b so if you check here if I want to to reverse this, I, I will discover that this is the same as this. So what I'm going to do now here is um, this is the difference of two squares. So this is going to be natural log of x minus y, x plus y. Everything divided by x minus y. Now at this point, we can see that we have uh, the common thing here. We can cancel this. And our answer is going to be natural log of x plus y as simple as that okay now let's have another one let's say we have a log a base let's say log base 10 of 3x minus open brackets 2 log base 10 of x minus log base 10 of y let's see so this is the same as I can factor out negative. I'm going to have 
3x minus 2 log x the negative negative is going to be plus log base 10 of y now from here we can see that uh, we have uh, the common base the common base is going to be 10 as long as we don't have any base here just know that it's in base 10 okay now we can see that we have a number in uh, in front here the property of log allows us to shift this one to be the power so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say log base 10 of 3x minus I'm going to shift this now is going to be log base 10 of x to the power 2 plus log y now we have uh, the common thing here so we're going to have log base 10 then we are going to say the positive this one has got a positive this one has got a positive so they are going to to multiply so 3x times y everything divided by the one having negative is just x squared now at this point we can cancel the neg uh, we can cancel the x 1x so the x there will go 1x we are going to remain with x so the final answer is going to be log of 3y divided by x so this is my answer in this case now how can you expand we are we are just from condensing now how can we expand logarithmic uh, equations so let's say we have log of x y squared divided by z to the power 4 now it's more like we are doing the reverse of what we are from doing now in this case we can see that as long as you they are multiplying on top meaning it is positive the one having uh, the one which is on bottom is going to have what a negative so in this case we are going to have we don't have any base here meaning it's in base 10 so we have log okay x plus log of y to the power this is to the power 2 okay to the power 2 why I'm putting positive here is just because x and y they're on top and they're multiplying okay the one uh, which is on on bottom there is going to carry a negative so it's going to be log z to the power 4 so meaning this is going to be my answer but we can't end there we are trying to expand so this is going to be log of uh, x the property of log allows us to shift this one to be to be in front so it's going to be plus 2 log y minus I'm going to shift 4 to be in front 4 log z so now I'll end there say this is my answer okay let's have a different one let's say we have lean x to the power 2 the square root of z everything divided by y to the power negative 3 now from here we can say that the one which is on top as long as these uh, times there as long as those two guys are multiplying then it's going to be plus so in this case it's going to be natural log of x squared plus natural log of the square root of z minus because this is uh, on the denominator so we are going to say is lean is going to be natural log over y to the power 3 now from here we can see that the property of log or yes the property of log allows us to shift this to be in front so this is going to be 2 natural log of x plus lean if we have the square root the square root of z this is the same as z to the power 2 uh, to the power half so this is going to be to the power half minus so if I bring this now it's going to be like this um, it's going to be lean y so I'm going to say this is going to be 2 natural log of x plus I'll shift half it's going to be half natural log of z negative negative is going to be plus 3 natural log of y so in this case this is my answer okay let's have the last one let's say we have natural log of x to a power 4 times the cube root of y everything divided by z to the power 2 so let's see 
let me put z to the power half on top there okay so this is going to be we know that the top part this and this they are going to multiply or they are going to add so we are going to have natural log of x to the power 4 plus natural log of the cube root over y now since this is down we are going to say minus natural log of z to the power half at this point i can now um apply the what the property of log the property of log allows me to shift the power to be in front okay so i'm going to say this is going to be 4 natural log of x plus lean if i have cube root here this is the same as y to the power 1 over 3 so now if i have x to the power 1 over 2 this is the same as the square root of x if i have x to the power 1 over 3 this is the same as the cube root of x so if i have x to the power 4 x to the power 1 over 4 is the fourth root of x so in this case i've got y to the power 3 is the cube root of y so the property of log allows us to shift this so i'm going to shift half natural log of z but again i can shift this to be in front so my final answer is going to be 4 natural log of x plus i shift this one 1 over 3 natural log of y minus half natural log of z as simple as that so this is what you need to know under the basic rules of logarithmic 